What? Shave off your facial hair to gain some range? No, you're not going to do that, right? Well, you might want to consider it. Especially your mustache. That interferes with two things. The seal from your lips to the mouthpiece and also the vibration. The little bit, little strands of hair from the mustache that sit on top of your lip and then sandwich in between your mouthpiece create a ridge of interruptions in the vibration. And that will influence how high you can go. The second thing is the seal. You're not getting a perfect seal. That means you're not getting the right pressure and you're just not going to be able to have the compression to go up high. So also down here, now I'm trying to grow a little something down here on my chin. I may have to shave this right here. Maybe. Not sure. Um, but anyway. Okay, here's the one-two punch. Guaranteed, you're going to increase your range a half step if you shave off your mustache. That's just guaranteed. But you might also notice you gain a, a minor third. That's three half steps. Let me give you an example. If you're a typical high C player, or maybe high D, let's just use high C. That would mean that you would go up to high C sharp, high D, high E flat. Wow. Okay, to instantly, like let's say within a week, to go from high C to high E flat. Just imagine how awesome you would feel if all you had to do was shave off your mustache. Okay, it's that simple. Now to make it the one-two punch, uh, the two part of the punch would be to go dry lip. Now that takes a lot more getting used to. It's not going to be an overnight or a one-week deal like shaving off your, your stash. But if you could shave off your stash and go dry lip, um, it's a guaranteed minor third or more increase in your range. That's without working on any of the musculature, technique, air, tongue arch, roll in, without working on anything else. Just going dry lip and getting rid of all that uh, facial hair. It makes a big difference. In fact, sometimes I get the feeling people don't always want to take my word for it. They should. Let me give a little toot of my horn. You, you do re remember that I'm the world record holder for high notes, right? I'm the only person in the world, literally, the only person out of 7 or 8 billion people that can play and demonstrate a quadruple high C on the trumpet. So that should mean something, but, but let's just say you don't believe that. Let's just say you don't believe it. Well, I want you to take a look at some amazing trumpet players that all have something in common. Are you ready? The world's greatest trumpet player of all time, Maynard Ferguson, in just about every way. Look at his picture. Rarely. In fact, I don't think you can find him with a mustache or beard or anything like that. That should be cause enough to make you scratch your head and think. Cad Anderson. Every now and then you could find Cad Anderson had a very light stash. But in a lot of his earlier days playing, where he was really just jamming up to the triples, he had no facial hair. The quintessential studio musician Bud Brisboy, and world's greatest high note player, in my estimation, Bud Brisboy. Try to find a picture where he's looking like a gorilla, and you won't find it. There's no facial hair. Never had it, that I could tell. Maurice Andre, one of the most solid classical players of all time. All-around player. Um, uh, I estimate his range was probably in the double E to maybe even double F range. Uh, he certainly was able to play double C's and double D's quite loudly. Check him out. No facial hair, no mustache. Bill Chase, another awesome player from the 60s, 50s, 60s, and early 70s. No stash, folks, no stash. John Faddis. Now, he, we, he would go in and out every now and then, especially when he was younger, with having a little bit of a stash. But for the most part, he had no stash, and he had no beard, nothing like that. Look at most of his stuff. Um, some of his early, earlier days, he had a little bit of a stash. But 99% um, of all his photos that you can find, he has no facial hair. That ought to really give you cause for some thinking right there. Dizzy Gillespie is another one. He kind of went in and out. Every now and then, he would have a little goatee or a little light mustache. But a lot of the time, he had no facial hair. And the infamous Roy Roman. Roy Roman, the guy who, who was just a monster up into the, the triples, triple G's, all the way to the triple C. No facial hair, folks. No facial hair. Now, after thinking about all those cats, now, I mentioned 
probably almost all the big heavy hitters in our trumpet world. Really, the big heavy hitter, powerful trumpet players. I'm not talking about, you know, people that you may like, like let's say Doc Severinsen, Alan Vizzuti, um, who are some other ones, Winton Marsalis, um, da, 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 da. maybe some of the guys um, I like actually from the Canadian Brass. Um, let's see, who else? Um, uh, da, 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 Roger Ingram. Well, now he's a power player, but you know, he doesn't have any facial hair either. But I'm, I'm talking about the guys that really get up into the triples and zow people with the triple ranges. So uh, they, if you go back and look at those folks, those are the heavy hitters, the power hitters, and they do not have facial hair. I've noticed when I try to grow out a mustache that my range drops, my accuracy drops. And folks, when you get above double C and you got facial hair and you're, what it feels like is pins and needles. Because you are using pressure when you get above double C. And if you got hair, and the hair, the mustache is not soft like on your head. It's real tough, real coarse. If you got a mustache and you got a mouthpiece pressure going into the double C range and then the triple C range, uh, you're talking about a lot of pain. It just feels like pins and needles going right into your upper lip. So I'm here to tell you, shave off that stash. Gain some range. Go dry lip. Now, I have another video about dry and wet lip. But um, the dry lip thing will take you a lot longer to to get used to. More than just a couple of days to a week. But uh, shave off that stash and watch your range bounce up. And, and let's say if you fail, you're going to still get a half step increase. But on average, you're going to gain a minor third. Not too shabby, right? So keep an open mind when it comes to playing and getting better on the trumpet. And I imagine this works for other brass players, too. I bet that even tuba players, I bet your pedals would vibrate better and richer and more resonant if you'd shave off all that facial hair. I just guarantee it. I'm Kurt Thompson. By the way, I'm running a little bit of a fundraiser here for Trumpet Champions. We're trying to do something good. We're really trying to get something going in 2023. I mean, really get something going playing-wise, rehearsal-wise. And you could help out. Please donate. Look for a link. I'll leave a link for some 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 ways for you to donate and be part of us join us help us out trumpet champions fundraiser kurt thompson i'll see you soon